Hey everybody, welcome back to Raw Healing Tarot. My name is Kayla, and if this is your first time, welcome for the first time. <laughs> um, for everyone else, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today, this message has been like gnawing at me for a minute, and I had like, I started at 3.30, I was like, okay, and I just sat down and started like picking all the cards and shuffling and everything, so this is very strong. This is a very strong message that has to come through about what life lesson you are currently learning or going through right now. Um, that was so clear to me for a little bit and it's just, it was just a matter of time um, until I got to like sit down and do everything. So it's pretty loud and clear. I will say that um, a few of these piles, the, the message definitely feels a lot denser and heavier. So there's a lot you guys are working through. Um, but I pulled a lot of guidance cards. Um, these are going to be really in-depth readings. It's probably going to take me a while to get through. Um, but I'm just, I'm so excited that you guys clicked on this video. Um, you know, just a little disclaimer. This is not for everybody. This could be for you. This might not be for you. Some things might resonate. Some things might not resonate. So if it does, great. Take it. If it doesn't, then, you know, just leave it. Um, you might get through, this happens to me very frequently when I'm doing pick cards. You might get halfway through one and be like, none of that was for me. And then the second half, you're like, this totally resonates. You know what I mean? So just be super aware going into it of like, what's for you? What's not for you? Just really tune into that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the intro. So this is a pick a card reading and I have decided to continue using the crystal cards as your choosing um, method. So I'm going to go through and show you guys the piles. All right. So as you guys can see here, we have pile number one with the blue lace agate, pile number two with the chrysocolla, pile number three with the spessartine garnet, and pile number four with the diamond. All right. So I would invite everyone to go ahead and take maybe like two to three big deep breaths. Just really get centered, get calm, and tune into yourself. Ask your heart, ask your guides, ask your angels, what is it that I need to hear right now? What's the life lesson that I'm in the midst of that I need some clarity on and I need help learning about? Um, you know, whatever you feel called to ask, just ask it. Be very clear and go ahead and move forward with your pile. And I'm super excited to give these readings to you guys. So ah, I just can't wait. I'll give like all the disclaimers now, I guess, just cause everybody's probably going to watch a different, everybody's definitely going to watch a different pile. Okay. I'm not going to ramble too long anyway. Um, so like I said before, this may or may not be for everyone. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, uh, you can also find me on Instagram. That's where I'm currently booking all of my individual readings. If you have interest in that, it's at raw healing tarot. Um, I'm trying to post a little bit more on there. It's a little more in depth than just tarot readings. I do a lot more. So please give me a follow on there. Um, also, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on your reading. Like, please give me a thumbs up on the video. If it was super solid and you got a lot from it, you know, go ahead and like comment and write it out. I'd love to start like creating a culture around this and, you know, have you guys be able to communicate with each other and with me too. Um, so that's a big, 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 big one. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get updated every time I do do a video. I do my best to create these videos when I feel very called to, like a very specific message has to come through. So I'm not trying to jam pack anything. I just want this to come through as raw and as natural as possible. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, all, all of this is donation based. So I do have links below for that if you feel so inclined. And thank you so much for supporting this channel and my livelihood and, you know, my, me being able to give my gift to you guys. So at any rate, I uh, thank you again and we're going to get on with the readings. Hey guys, if you pick pile number one, this is for you. I'm very excited to just jump right into it. Um, this is definitely one of the lighter <laughs> piles. So um, whatever it is you guys are going through, it's definitely not as heavy as the other piles. Uh, I think there's a lot to be said for that. So we're just going to dive right into it. We'll start off with blue lace agate. This was the stone that you picked. This is a gorgeous stone to me. It's very like 
emotional and calming. Um, and you also got the number 12. So right off the bat, for some reason, three is standing out to me, like two plus one. So, you know, there's definitely something very divinely timed about you receiving this message. And the 12th of a month, maybe upcoming in December, could be very important for you. Your birthday might be on the 12th. Um, so just pay attention to 12 and three. Those could be very important numbers for you. And I'll go ahead and read the messages from Blue Lace Agate. This is also something that, um, you know, if you guys are into meditation or into utilizing crystals, this is definitely a crystal that you're being called to have in some way, shape, or form, like maybe jewelry or maybe like a chunk, like all the ones surrounding me. <laughs> um, but Blue Lace Agate is going to be very helpful in healing for you. So the essential meaning is peaceful acceptance, stress-free non-attachment, and freedom from unnecessary dramas. I already love where this reading is going. You guys are definitely learning to release something, and that's beautiful. Although crystals seem solid and permanent, all things on this earth change over time, even the minerals and the rocks. Transformation can be slow and nearly imperceptible, but we are always changing. Our lives flow like a river, slowly or quickly, but always in motion, and that's a good thing. The appearance of Blue Lace Agate Spirit calls for you to embrace the possibility of change without stress. You are not too old, too late, too stuck in your ways, too anything. You are enough and you will have help as you dare to be different and step into a new destiny. Finding your purpose with peace in your heart instead of living according to the old patterns probably created long before you even thought about your habits and belief systems. Why hold on to the past that causes you stress and anxiety? It's already changing anyway. Impermanence is the nature of everything and the conscious universe has so many ideas for how to help you be fulfilled, balanced, and joyful. And I feel like I need to read specifically the prosperity message for you guys. Sorry, there's like an itch in and around my nose. Ugh. Okay. Did an opportunity fade before you had a chance to seize it? No worries. Give your stress a break. This or something better is a truth that Blue Lace Agate Spirit wants, you to, wants to remind you of, for it brings with it energy of calm and peaceful transformation. Maybe the opportunity to build your wealth wasn't the right one for you, and what's coming in is so much better that you will say to yourself, what was I thinking, worrying about the past? Endings lead to beginnings, so be present in this transition, learning the lessons of the past and being enthusiastic about all of the wealth that will be available to you in a prosperous future. There's always more, thanks to the conscious universe, so you never need to stress or try to hold on too tightly. Your wealth may change its form, but abundance is your birthright. Trust in the conscious universe and you will be guided towards the opportunities for co-creating the prosperity that you seek. I can already tell that you guys are going through some sort of very serious lesson and just letting go. So I'm excited to dive deeper into that. What's going to be really, really big about these readings in particular is that I actually ended up pulling archetype cards for every pile. Now these archetype cards are magnificent, but they are heavy and laden with information. So I hope that you truly take this archetype concept that I'm going to explain to you and learn how to work with it and understand it. And I think that this specific card out of all of them will be the one that helps you deal with this life lesson the most. Wow. So you got the storm. That's really beautiful. I feel something pretty wild coming from here. So we're going to bust this open. The chaos, the whirlwind, the disorder. Possessing an energy much like the tarot's tower card, the storm undoes all that is. Everything that was solid, known, and relied upon is stripped away by the winds of fate. The ground becomes the sky, the sky becomes the center, and then the center disappears. The storm is a great equalizer. No matter how far we've come on the path, no matter what our age, wealth, or wisdom, we can't hide from its savage winds. Their disturbing howls stir anxiety and make it impossible to see and think straight. You must wait it out. If you try to fight the storm, you will lose. A better option is to seek temporary shelter and a reliable friend. When all else fails, go within. There, for a moment, you settle into the eye of the storm. The storm's intention is to rebalance your equilibrium. It is a result of precarious conditions, not the cause of them. 
So when this archetype is light, it is meaningful obliteration and annihilation. When dark, meaningless disorder and dysfunction. To go deeper, the tornado seen in the Wizard of Oz and Reich's The Man Watching. You guys are definitely learning. You, I feel like you are in the storm right now. I feel like you are experiencing this archetype of like, and this is why you're learning this lesson of letting go and like being stress-free is I feel like you are in the eye of the storm right now and there's just so much going on. And for some of you, it's not that big of a deal. And the reason I say that is because the energy that I got from this overall deck and reading is just that like, you're going to be able to breeze through it. And like, for some of you, this may ring very true and very heavy and very loud. And you might be like, everything's fucking falling apart and I don't know what to do about it. And the lesson we're starting to see here is that you need to like let go and realize that the stress you're causing yourself is not going to make anything better. You have to just find that temporary shelter. So your tarot cards, we got strength. Some of you may be Leos, queen of wands. Wow. Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Cups, reversed. All right. I think most of you are very aware of the fact that like, and I am getting like a lot of fire energy, so you might be like, you might be Sag or Aries too. Um, Leo, Sag or Aries, there's just, there's a lot of fire energy coming through right now. You guys know you're the shit. I have a feeling that with some of you, this is a work-related situation. You know that you have this inner strength. You know that you are the creator of your reality and you get to like pursue and push your passions and you get to like utilize that fiery energy in a very positive way. You're at the point where you're like pretty freaking content. You're like, yeah, like I'm doing really good. I'm freaking focused. Let's freaking go. You have the Ace of Wands energy, which is, to me, this is coming through. Like, there is something brand new on the horizon for you guys. And you are, like, reveling in the fact that you're, like, I, you know, I don't think, I think all ideas are things that kind of come and go. And if someone decides, like, yes, take it and go with it, then, like, okay, awesome. Um, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit further into this, actually. Because I have, I think you guys are learning that work's not everything. And even though it's very important to you and you're very passionate about it, I think you're starting to realize that this is like not the only thing that's bringing you like emotional happiness. Yeah. You're overdoing it. To a degree, like you're overburdening yourself. And you're, you're not allowing yourself to, you're very confident in yourself and your abilities. You're feeling really good and you're starting to accept the fact that you're like in this nine of cups energy, that you can have it all. Like that is your energy to have and to hold and to be proud of and excited about. The issue seems to be that you are just not allowing yourself to like celebrate the wins that you have, to celebrate the space that you're in and what you have cultivated and grown and produced thus far. You are just constantly looking towards the next thing and thinking to yourself, like, I'll be happy when I get to that point. I'll be happy when I get to that point. And you're not accepting, like, you are currently at one of those points where everything is actually really fucking awesome and you need to accept that and like, be super stoked about it. And the whole like being stress-free thing is really coming from some kind of passion, creative project or work-related situation. And it's it's not get, you're not able to get into a space of like emotional like triumph because you're just overdoing it and you're overburdening yourself and you're not celebrating where you're currently at. I feel a little bit of sass coming from that, so that's like it's, it's like you guys already know that. 
I feel like most of you who are listening to this are like, oh, I just got called out because you already knew. You already knew and this is just like a straightforward message to you to just like weather the storm, weather the storm and be grateful for the fact that you have a shelter to go to in this storm. That's yourself. Create and cultivate that inner peace within yourself. Release and let go. Like be grateful, be grateful for yourself and your ability to create that peaceful space. And once you do that, you're going to be able to walk away from this situation into something better, or you're just going to be able to be much more aware and like grateful of your situation. You've got solar plexus chakra. Number three is coming up again for the win. Yes, I love when this happens. Threes are super important for you. It's also like a, a really beautiful universal number. Um, solar plexus chakra. You guys have some, you have to balance this. I feel like it's overstimulated. Um, I don't think you have a problem with it. I don't think it's, it's decreased. I think you need to balance your solar plexus a little bit. So look into some different types of meditations to do for solar plexus, um, you know, balancing. We also have memories of love, number six, and that's a multiple of three. Feel like something that's gonna help you guys ground yourselves a little bit, be especially cause like there's these cups and the blue lace agates, like a blue emotional stone. Um, and memories of love is a heartfelt thing. I think something that's gonna help you like get centered around like learning this lesson is really building up like a big, big space in your heart chakra and just utilizing memories of love to balance yourself out a little bit and like bring yourself down a couple notches. You also got obstacles and challenges. Number five, I think you're facing that with your work stuff. And I think that, or your passions or creative projects, like I said, it's, you know, the wands or the, the fiery energy. Um, you're seeing these obstacles and challenges and you're facing them head on. So you're not having an issue with it. I think it's more so the awareness of like the fact that there's different ways to deal with these obstacles and challenges and maybe you need to kind of take yourself down a couple notches from your ego and be more calm about it and you're going to receive messages about how you can deal with them all right oh i think some of you are leos <laughs> some of you are definitely sag and aries too but i'm getting leo for this one you got empathy i am open to seeing both sides of the situation you're not always right. There's not always one way to deal with something. Understand that there's other people involved. And your final card that you got, which I asked for like some guidance and some medicine, um, is Get Wild. Oh, which I think is hilarious because is almost telling you to like calm down but I think there seems to be a little bit of like a roller coaster going on for you guys in order to work your way through this this storm that you're in with all of this like all this different energy kind of flying around learning like the biggest lesson you're learning right now is I think there's a lot of balance going on there's a lot of balance going on in realizing that you need to let go in order to build yourself up which is like, you know, a little bit convoluted, but not really, because it's all about balance. So you gotta have light and dark and one or the other. To connect with our wild nature is to bring ourselves into a state of balance. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah, I think one of your biggest life lessons right now is balance, I think it's safe to say. Having been raised in a culture that favors order, control, discipline, and obligatory respect for authority, many of us get a feeling of danger when we start to veer off the given path. This card is asking you to spend some time with the primal, intuitive aspect of yourself. What immediately comes to mind when you think of that part of you? Hmm. Is your wild self, oh, if your wild self was a movement, what would it be? If it was a sound, what would the sound be? If it was a song, what is that song? 
Spend some time asking yourself what it means to get wild and then make time and space for that. For some of you specifically, you receive messages and guidance through music. So think of that, like what, what immediately comes to mind when you think of that wild, intuitive, primal self, like with regards to music. So think of a song that like brings that out of you and fucking go crank that shit and dance around to it. And I feel like that's gonna like put you in a really good space. Um, I also wanna read, I feel like I need to read about the blackberry, which I think is kind of cute. Wild blackberry is considered one of the most invasive plants across multiple continents. The more we have domesticated plants and landscaped our environment, the more people have come to view plants that are untamable as weeds and a nuisance. The blackberry teaches us that having confidence in our more authentic selves, despite how much people frown upon it, is the key to expansion. Call upon blackberry when you need an ally in embracing your wild. I fucking love that. I hope that this resonated very loudly with you guys. I would really greatly appreciate if you commented down below and talk to me about how this reading resonated with you or what your thoughts are. Um, you know, I'm going to put all of the decks in the description as well if you guys are interested in those. I think that's pretty much it, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the year. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if it resonated with you and feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you can get updated the next time, the next time I put out another video. All right. Thank you guys so much again for watching. All right. Welcome pile number two. Oh boy, you guys, I'm really excited to dive into this one. Um, you definitely have like much lighter vibes than the other, there's, there's a couple other decks that I was like, Ooh, oh boy, there's a lot. Um, but this one's gonna be really cool. I also got the message that you guys are very visual learners. So for some of you, you're probably like, okay, yeah, I know. Um, for others of you, I feel like that's a strong message coming through that you needed to know about yourself or you needed that confirmation. Like you're a visual learner, you're a very visual person and that's like important for you to know. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. You guys picked Chrysocolla, which is such a freaking gorgeous, beautiful, stunning stone. I definitely have a chunk of it somewhere up there. Um, it's just magic. And it's also number 16, so 16 could be very important to you, 7 could be very important, either like the 16th of a month, it could be your birthday, same thing with the number 7, um, but the number 7 is just a very like high vibrational spiritual number. So that's really cool, so I'm going to go ahead and read the message from Chrysocolla, speaking your truth, heartfelt communication, right speech. When you speak your truth, you are being true to your soul's desire to participate in the co-creation of a better world and a better life for you. Chrysocolla Spirit's message for clear, authentic speech that arises from your heart is this. The force of the conscious universe's love is here for you today as you choose to speak up and speak out. For you can be, clear, you can be a clear channel for what needs to be said. Your voice is so very important, for you are a unique being with your own calling and destiny and the conscious universe expresses that through you. Practice choosing your words consciously as you voice a difficult truth or speak up on behalf of someone who has felt powerless for too long. Be assured that because of your commitment to heartfelt communication, your voice will ring out, cutting through the noise today. That's really beautiful. Um, and I'm, I'm interested to see how that ties into everything else, but I just wanted to forewarn you guys. Um, the archetype deck made its way out today and this deck is like really heavy duty. Um, you know, I figured that whatever type of life lesson was being learned right now, that the archetype might serve as a really good space for you to start beginning to like understand the energy of the archetype and how I can help you through this, this life lesson that you're currently learning. You got the heart. Truth and heartfelt communication. I'm getting a lot of like heart and throat chakra vibes, especially with the blue and the green. Wow, that's beautiful. I've never seen, I have yet to see this card, so I'm very excited to read it. I think you guys are learning a lot about trusting yourself. The home, the center, the throne. 
It is possible from an imaginal point of view to sense the heart as a place. Either we are there within the realm of expansion and compassion, or we have drifted somewhere else. There is no in-between. It is common for us to leave this archetypal center without realizing it, as the world, with its seductive twists and turns, offers us frequent departure. We may even become a stranger to the landscape of the heart, leaving it vacant for long stretches of time. The seat of the heart is often reclaimed by nature, music, dance, and the presence of children or animals. This card encourages us to move past the layers of life's tangles and knots and enter the wild and sacred center of the self. The most precious throne in the galaxy is awaiting your return. So when this archetypal energy is light, you are expansive, knowing, and you have gentle clarity. When it is dark, you are fraught, tangled, and there is betrayal. To go deeper, Wild is the Wind by Nina Simone. Recall the last time your heart was touched. Soak in every detail you can and feel the heart awaken. I think that's really beautiful and I'm definitely, I'm excited to see what's in the tarot cards because I feel like you guys are getting a very strong message about like learning, learning about love right now and learning about that heart center and how important it is to be truthful and honest to it because that is you. So there is a big message in self-love here, but I also feel like for some of you with regards to relationships, you're currently, one of your life lessons is learning how to come from that genuine heartfelt space in order to cultivate better relationships so your tarot cards you got the father of cups interesting i'm getting a very clear um message that some of you are really reconnecting with your dad for the first maybe the first time i'm trying really hard not to cry right now because i got a lot um that's super loud and clear some of you are truly connecting to either your dad or a father figure in a big way right now and that's that's definitely part of this like healing and learning process for you you got the five of wands reversed which to me is it's like you're stepping away from the discord okay so Holy shit. Okay. You guys are in the process of like really truly seeking out the truth for yourself right now. And it's that universal truth. It's that like, it's that wanting to dig deep into yourself so you can not only understand yourself better, but everything else. You want that overarching widespread universal truth and your guides are begging you to listen to your intuition they are begging you there are a lot of decisions that have to be made you have the two here you have the two of wands as well um there's a lot of decisions that you have to make so moving forward and through this like life lesson that you're learning right now there's a few things one of them is realizing that you are the creator of your calm and your like your emotional steadiness and by speaking your truth by searching for that universal truth and like being honest with yourself and and like cut like cutting out the bullshit and getting away from the discord that's so huge for you i'm getting so much like bright light energy right now like you guys are learning a really beautiful lesson and you're very open to it i think that's part of why you're here too and why you clicked on this video and why you're listening um is there's this like search that has begun for like you're like fed up with the bs you want more you want more from yourself you want to heal better you want to understand yourself better and you want to like love more and you're trying to make that connection listen to yourself listen to your intuition meditate get to the space you need to get to get out in nature 
cultivate that sense of like happiness and that brightness that like that heart love space this is so important for you to be learning about right now and then moving forward there is some sort of decision you have to make about something you're either passionate about or something work related and you need to and you got seven over here so set the sevens lining up and the twos lining up there's freaking two and ten. fuck look up you know the numerological significance of two and of seven i feel like those are very important for you right now and standing your ground is like you know once you start to cultivate this knowledge and this practice of like searching for your truth and searching for the universal truth and the higher truth like the decisions you make need to come from that intuition that connection of intuition and standing your ground of like this is what i want this is what i need and those decisions have to be made by and for you and not anybody else like you are stepping away from the bs i keep hearing that over and over again some of you might be like finally leaving a job and that decision that you're making for yourself because you know you're not happy there is going to lead you to a much 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 better place where you actually have room to expand and grow that's very clear for some people wow yeah so your life lesson that you're working through right now is like that expansion into wanting to know about your inner truth and expressing your inner truth um and, and standing strong in that so the mantra card that you got is fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love wow I hope that one sinks in. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You are learning how to live in this space. For some of you, it is a very new space to be in. And just understanding it in the first place is like, wow, like holy shit to a lot of you. And for th some of you who I said you're like connecting with your dads, like you're learning how to open up that part of yourself that hasn't been open in a long time. And that's really beautiful. I'm trying not to cry again. <laughs> um, that's amazing. And you do need to create boundaries and do what's best and safest for you with regards to that process. But this is a very beautiful, clear message for you guys. Like you're just learning how to cultivate that heart space. And I'm so proud of you and I'm so excited for you. Oh my God. I feel like some of you are Pisces or Aquarius. Some of you might be Cancer too. All right, and the final guidance card we have is Star Ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. Damn. I might cry. I don't know, guys. This is really powerful. Like, you're really learning how to tune into and listen to yourself, and that's just fucking amazing. Fucking awesome. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. Seeking out this, this truth. Okay, listening to your intuition, standing your ground, listen to your soul. I love that. You're making the decisions that are best for you. The Star Ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you are willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling. That's awesome. Yeah, call out for help, guys. I mean, you're not going to do this all by yourself. This is about and for you, but it is you're not doing it alone. Like, don't go at it alone. Um, that's just such a freaking cool message. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if it did. Um, please comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you're thinking. You know, jump in and let me know like what happens on December 16th or December 7th or like the numbers two and seven, how those resonate with you. Um, please share this video if you feel like someone needs to hear it. And this is timeless. So whenever you click on it, that's when you're meant to hear it. And... 
You can book me for individual readings at Raw Healing Tarot on Instagram. Um, I do this all in my spare time. So if you guys feel so inclined, I do take donations and all of that's listed below. All of the decks I use are, are used in this reading are listed below. And I just can't wait to read for you guys again in the next one. So thank you so much. Hey, pile number three, what's going on? Welcome to your life lesson reading. What life lesson are you currently learning or working through? Um, I did have to take a little bit of a break and just use my singing bowl because I felt so much energy in the first two piles and like felt like I had to get very clear for your message. Uh, when I was pulling cards for you, this one definitely felt a lot heavier just to be honest. Um, so we're just going to go through this as in depth as we possibly can. So I'm going to start you guys off with your crystal that you picked, which is Spessartine Garnet. It's number 53. So 53 could be important to you. The number eight could also be very important to you, but we'll just get another look at your crystal card. I'll go ahead and read this for you guys, I feel like you're getting, you guys are getting a lot of downloads. You're going through space right now where your guides and your angels are trying to connect with you a lot more because they know you need, not that like you need help, but you need some more guidance. Um, oh, essential meaning, charm and charisma, shining and sparkling, being a brilliant beacon of confidence that inspires others. If you have any self-doubt, right off the bat, I feel like your angels are just like, cut that shit out. Like you're magnificent and bright and you are the stuff of galaxies and stars. Like you can just see in this card how like absolutely stunning the aura is. Like you guys are just fucking magnificent and beautiful and wonderful. And your guides are like, don't fucking forget it. Like, please. I feel like some of you need to hear this. We are all so lucky to have you here on this planet right now. Feel your magnetism today. Express it. Shine your light and all your glory, inspiring others, and let yourself draw in whatever will help you on your journey. I'm getting chills. Ask for what you need. Ask for what you need. Talk to your guides and your angels about what you need. I feel like those of you who picked this pile are a little bit more in tune than, um, than the other piles thus far. Uh, I feel like you guys are going to receive these messages. I also feel like a lot's going to come through like channeled. So, cause I, like my whole body just feels funny right now. So please pay attention. The number eight is very important for you. And it's because it's a reminder of you being this infinite being you are a being of infinite possibilities and your stardust, your magic, like they're just like reinforcing that, like just kind of building you up. And I feel like I have to read the relationship message for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You are a unique being with a light only you can emit. Do you think you have to work harder to make people like you? What if your soulmate is out there waiting for you to stop trying so hard and just be your glorious, amazing, brilliant self? What if your soulmate is waiting for your beacon to send out the message, I am here and ready for a partner to shine with me? Today is a good day to recognize all that is attractive in you and stop trying to hide it out of some sort of fear that others might not be comfortable seeing you in your full glory. Shine brightly today. Love that. This is a, there is a serious message of being yourself and being super authentic coming through. Um, so the archetypes deck did come out for the first time in a pick a card. I do, oh, no, it might be the second time. Um, but whatever life lesson it is that you guys are learning or going through right now, this archetype is something for you to hone in on and understand. And that's, this is going to help you through the process. You got the judge. Hmm. I'm very interested and hearing what this has to say. A lot of you are way more spiritually connected than, than the other decks. Pe most people who, who pick this deck, you guys are here to learn a lot right now. And that's why I think this is such an in-depth and like heavier reading. Um, the critic 
the diplomat and the advocate. The judge has an incredibly important job. They work every waking hour of every day, helping us to discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and other. Ironically, the judge's energy can be the seed of racism, bigotry, and fear-mongering. This is the judge out of balance, building walls, separating from other. When this same discerning force is made conscious and healed, however, the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes, standing up for the underdog, providing resources for those in need, and forgiving again and again. Love is the deciding factor. Awakening this archetype is essential for the complex times we are in. Get your judge in order. The world needs it. So when light, discernment, advocacy, right action, and compassion. When dark, critical, punishing, unforgiving, and wall building. Some of you are Libras. Gandhi had an incredibly illuminated inner judge. He was a lawyer. He practiced silence one day a week in order to hone his discernment while on his revolutionary path. I am like getting the chills and I was sweating previously because it's 75 degrees up here. It is way too hot. You guys are really like your life lesson right now, I think is like really honing in on that sense of compassion and utilizing love and compassion as a deciding factor especially for yourself. A lot of you are like advocates for change and a lot of you are very outspoken and outgoing and sometimes you kind of get lost and forget that and that's why you're getting this reminder of like your light and your bright and your you. Um, so let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Yeah, you guys have kind of lost your way a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get some clarifiers. You got the sun reversed, five of cups reversed, three of wands, and the page of coins. I feel like the overall energy right now is like, you guys have kind of like lost your sparkle a little bit. However, you are, two messages coming through, you are tuning into and stepping back into that space of self-love which is beautiful and wonderful and like congratulations and everyone like your guides and the spirits are super proud of you. For some of you, there is a decision you have to make about your relationship. And that's why you're kind of like out of sorts right now. That's why like the sun's reversed and you don't feel like you can have everything you want because stuff's just not going great and 100% in the relationship right now. It's not super fulfilling. Some of you are dealing with, dealing with an air sign male, or it could just be like a very masculine air sign. So female or male, I'm getting the message that for some of you it's a guy. Okay. You're, you're like pushing yourself away from this decision that you have to make. And I feel like this is where the... So for some of you... The sun energy being reversed is just a recognition of the fact that like you have just not been in tune with yourself and you need to check back in and you are getting there and you are making those strides. For others of you, there is a very serious decision that has to be made about a relationship you're in or a relationship you have with someone. Um, it is absolutely not feeling fulfilling right now. You literally have no freaking clue like what to do with yourself. Oh, and it's because, yup, oh my god. <laughs> it's because you are not listening to yourself. Listen to yourself. Tap into your intuition. Stop being stressed out and freaked out. Stop feeling like there's all these decisions. There is one big decision you have to make. It's stay or go. Listen to your inner bad bitch. Tune into that high priestess energy and like get the fuck out of your head and out of your feelings and move forward with your life in one direction or another. No matter what decision you make, it's gonna be the right one for you. If you make the decision to leave this person, 
it's going to be really healthy and beneficial for you. If you decide to stay with them and work through it, there's going to be like big change and you're going to advocate for that change and you're going to push for that change. But you need to tune back into yourself and you need to come from a place of compassion. I feel like the other, that's like a big lesson with the judge card too, is especially when it comes to relationships, for those of you who do have to make some sort of relationship decision, don't do it out of fear. Don't do it out of lack. Like really tap into yourself and like ask what you want and need. Move past like your, like you need, you do need to create space to listen to your emotions, but like move past that and just ask that one simple question to yourself. What do I want and need? What's best for me? And block out everything else. Um, I do see you guys with regards to like a passion project, like really working together. And you got the justice card. Oh my God. Wow. You, holy shit. Okay. Some of you are really in the space of like working for like advocacy of some sort and, and like you're freaking like loud and proud of it. And like, you are this like bright beacon of light. So once you can like flip this sun energy back up and get back to yourself, like it's all systems go, you guys have a lot of creative energy, a lot you have to do and want to say, and it's all for like what you stand for and what you believe in. And that's freaking beautiful. You're not seeing the results of that right now. And it's frustrating. And I get it. Um, but you have to get back to having that like joyful energy about it, knowing that all the work you're putting in is leading you somewhere. And you have the emperor reversed. Yeah, you're not trusting, you're not trusting your process and your path. So your guides are like, stop, take a big deep breath. You're doing the right thing. This is this is your message. Like you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing. Some of you like I said, some of you are Libras. I feel like some of you really advocate for like, it might be like women's rights. It might be like animal rights. It might be um, like trans or, or LGBTQ, like whatever, like all those things that might be for like a rights type of thing. You might feel very strongly pulled to like a committed career practice. So like some kind of therapy or something like that. Um, and you guys are questioning if it's right for you because you're just not seeing like the, you're not seeing the um, financial growth that you want to right now. And they're just saying like, trust in yourself, like sit on your throne and know like I'm here for a reason. And I'm, oh man, like I know what I want and need to do. Let me see if anything else needs to come out. This is wild. This is really beautiful though. Yeah, nine of wands, you don't have to fight for it. This comes easily to you. You're doing a really good job. Your guides are just like, you're doing fucking great. You're working so hard. Please don't be afraid to ask for help. You don't have to do all this by yourself. So you have a freaking like team, an army, I should say, of guides who are here for you. So whether it's like the relationship situation or the work situation, you're on the right path. You're going to make the right decision. Talk to your guides and tune into yourself. Listen to yourself, cut through the bullshit. You got five, oh, five's coming up a lot. Five of cups, five, yep, five. Financial and material changes. So that's coming for you. I feel that in the near future. The waiting game. Don't think about it. <laughs> Don't think about it. The more you overthink, like when is all this financial prosperity gonna come to me, the longer it's gonna take. My grandmother always said a watched pot never boils. You're going to stay stuck in this waiting game until you release it and know that it will come to you and it needs to come to you. You're doing all the right things. And your mantra card is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. You can't make this shit up with the judge and ugh. That's awesome. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Compassion, guys. Let the love flow. Let it, let that flow and let that be your guide. 
And the last guidance card you got is motion. What did I just say about flow? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm excited to read this one for you guys. I actually got this in a reading myself not too long ago, and it's a really beautiful message, so I hope it hits home for you guys. Cause and effect. Know what you want for the future and act accordingly. Be aware of the forces influencing your decisions. A spoke in the wheel is a minor setback, not a disaster. Deal with it quickly and move on. Shifting a single limiting belief will release a flood of creativity insight and confidence. Replace hoping for change with acting for change. I I bet I know several people who are going to pick this one too, so I'm super excited. Um, spiritual meaning. You have the power to free yourself from the lingering sense of guilt and fear that is holding you back. You can choose to let go or you can hold on. This card encourages you to release the blocks in your otherwise divine plan and be free. Remove the debris of doubt and be moved to hope as love and clarity flow within you once more. I love this. This is definitely like, this wasn't like heavy the way I was expecting. It's just a lot and it's a lot to process and be given. And um, it just feels dense because I feel like it's just messages coming from your guides right now. And those of you who are much more spiritually inclined, this is like hitting you super, super hard. So I'm sorry if you're crying. I'm sorry if you're overwhelmed, but this is all beautiful and wonderful and positive and encouraging. And, oh God, I'm just so excited for you. You are so needed. Whatever it is that you are like a strong advocate for, your voice is like, your voice is needed. It's very unique and it's very specific. So, you know, just like flip the sun energy right side up again. Like, we want this to be like this. <laughs> all that sun energy some of you guys need to get outside more too is what i'm hearing De literally go get more of that sun energy i feel like this bright energy you just need more of that like eat more fruits with vitamin c in them orange stuff like oranges coming through really strong like oranges clementines um and the number five is super important too but I really, truly hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please comment down below and let me know how this all went and like talk to me about it and what comes up. Um, you can book your individual readings with me through Instagram. I am at Raw Healing Tarot. And I do greatly appreciate and accept donations. All of that information is listed down below as long as all the, as long as, <clears throat> as well as all of the decks that I used in this reading. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, pile number four. I feel like we need to strap in because I feel like this is going to be a lot. Um, I also feel like this pile is might be for me as well. So I'm probably going to be resonating pretty hard with all this stuff. <sighs> Buckle up. Let's go. Thanks for being here. Oh boy. All right. So you picked the diamond. It's number 20. You can also take that as a number two. So 20 and two might be very um, important to you. Uh, oh shoot. Tomorrow's going to be the 20th. Also uh, 2020. Like I feel like this, there's just like a lot of numerology going on here that could be very big and important. So I'm going to go ahead and read the diamond message. The priceless gift of time and pressure combined. Beauty and strength arising from trials and challenges, the right use of power. As co-creators with our fellow beings, we are meant to work together harmoniously, giving and receiving, taking turns and sharing the work, the credit, the fun, and the power of manifestation. Today you are called to claim your power and exercise it with respect and love for all, even those who are hard to love, especially those who challenge you. You never know what silent struggles people are hiding, and your ability to express love is magnified by Diamond Spirit today. So listen to that part of you that wants to be kind and understanding towards someone who is making it difficult for you to come from your highest self. Sandpaper people <laughs> is what my mom used to call them. Anyone who is frustrating you or pissing you off or causing, like triggers you or whatever, a sandpaper person someone who's there to you know scrub away the hard exterior and 
show your best self show up and be your best self in those situations um so the archetype deck did come out to play for everyone today and i felt called to utilize it because i think that it will best help you integrate knowledge into whatever life lesson it is that you are learning right now oh the threshold y'all I'm just gonna say we because I know this one's for me too you are on the precipice of huge change I'm getting fucking freezing cold and it is hot as shit in here it's like 75 degrees in here um I don't think you can even understand the magnitude of the growth and expansion that's about to happen for you I think now I understand um I had to light the spirit candle for this for this pile and I think it's because I do need to just channel information from spirit right now especially because I feel so very strongly drawn to this pile um so I do need to like separate myself a little bit in order to give the messages to you guys the door the gate the initiation we cross thresholds continually consciously and unconsciously doorways gates and entryways grace our path on a daily basis when this card arises, it signifies that the precipice you stand upon is not your typical one. However, you have arrived at a threshold of initiation, here to usher you into a new reality. It requires you to leave behind the you that you thought was so well formed. A new frontier calls. This is not easy work. Threshold initiation means a part of you will be lost in order to make space for what is next. A metaphorical, a metaphorical death must occur. Some may not recognize you. You may struggle to recognize yourself. The ground seems to crumble as you free fall into your new reality. This is the liminal realm. One step, dear friend, just take that one necessary, necessary step toward the future that calls you. So when light, growth, individuation, ease in the liminal, when dark, resting, I'm sorry, resisting, refusal to grow, barriers and boundaries. To go deeper, lie on the floor and listen to Bob Dylan standing in the doorway. In Hindu mythology, Ganesh is the ultimate gatekeeper. Look to the great elephant god for support. Hecate, Janus, and Menshin are also watching over you. That's really funny because I just bought a Ganesh shirt today. <sighs> Crossing a threshold may not always be voluntary. Sometimes we are thrown across the boundary through circumstances far beyond our control. Either way, we cannot go back. What I'm hearing and getting, especially from the diamond, is it's there's and the diamond and the fire aspect of these two cards together. It's like this pressure is just going to keep increasing until you know you like reach the next stage. Like there's this immense powerful energy around you guys right now and it's like a cocoon and it's forcing the caterpillar to fucking like melt and mold and start and turning into something new Whoa, whatever's gonna come through it's like very powerful so this life lesson for you guys i think the life lesson you're learning right now is how to gracefully go through this period of massive change and transition so for your tarot cards we have the king of cups He's come up in almost all the readings. The Hanged Man Reversed. Six of Cups. Some of you need to change your perspective on someone. Interesting. <laughs> There's a few things coming out from here. One of them is that you guys are literally holding yourself back from being with someone who has this energy. So like I said, couple messages. So take, take which one resonates with you. Some of you are, are in like a relationship or with someone romantically and they give you that fresh perspective and they give you that six of cups energy and that like beautiful, like childlike celebration. And like, they pretty much got their shit together and you're like super excited by them. And there's like, 
this ability for love to begin. And some of you, this is another self-love message. These have been coming up a lot in my readings lately. Um, but some of you need to accept and see that part of yourself. Like accept and see that you can like totally begin like a brand new relationship with yourself and accept all your flaws and your darkness and like revel in your light and brightness and like have that bright childlike energy and be all excited and still be balanced and still be able to like lead and be calm and like collected. You just have to shift your perspective on it. Some of you think it's not okay to be like outgoing and fun and emotional with like your work situation and that holds you back from being yourself. Release that, let go of that. You have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles reversed, and the World. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. You're getting a similar message as another deck. You feel like you have to make a decision. Yes, okay, yeah. You guys are feeling stuck about like a work or financial decision. Um, and here it is. So either way, you need to move on and move forward. So whatever decision you have to make, you have to make it knowing that you're moving forward for yourself. So on the one hand, some of you are really struggling with your like mental state and you know that you're working on getting to that point of like that ace of swords energy, that like triumphant, like brand new, fresh start, like new mental mindset, like you're this close. The situation that's holding you back and what I feel like you need to apply this life lesson to, this like crossing over into the, like the next threshold and being uncomfortable and being under pressure in order to like shine um, is the fact that you're just like, you're allowing someone else, this is regards to a work situation, this is in regards to a work situation for some of you. There's someone else who's exerting like way too much power over you and you're kind of letting them do it. And that's why you like haven't been able to truly step into that ace of um, ace of swords energy. You're kind of allowing someone else to hold you back. It's like they're playing mind games with you. Telling you you're not doing enough when you know you're doing way too much. So you have to make some sort of decision about that. You have to move on from that and move forward from that. And for others of you, if that did not resonate, the other decision I feel like being made, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups reversed, and the world. It's like you know that on the other side of this decision you have to make is is the new your new life and the, everything that you've wanted and needed that knight of pentacles energy is like i know what i want and i'm going for it like strong and steady i have a plan um but something's emotionally holding you back it might just be because you're scared of stepping into all of that like you you know deep down that you deserve it and that you want it but you might be having some like, fear or trauma or attachment it's holding you back yeah five of cups you're just kind of like wallowing in fear over it this is a very emotional well oh, sorry scorpio cancer rising and pisces moon over here so watery as book and nine of cups and there's a snake on that. So it's literally just talking to you about shedding that old skin because you're going to be able to step into that beautiful energy. Stop wallowing. Stop worrying. Get out of like the self-doubt and the lack mentality. Just get out of it. We also have base chakra. Positive movement forward. No matter what decision you make. 
it's good for you and it's movement forward literally moving on moving on from that negative like wallowing five of cups like you're stepping away from that i hope you can see this i'm still trying to figure out the angles for like my light and stuff do some base chakra meditations do some balancing of your base chakra get very rooted and grounded in yourself and pull all of your energy up from source that's a very strong message i'm getting go get out in nature go eat some like red foods um you know uh, just ha like have like some hematite on you like something that's going to help you feel very grounded and like rooted in yourself <laughs> your mantra card is adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn i accept that challenges are the best way to learn that is so true and you are being challenged in every one of these circumstances you're being challenged to make a decision and make a choice and to truly like choose that better version of you choose that next version of yourself like choose the step over the f all right i'm not gonna lie i'm a little aggy because uh, my camera just stopped recording and i said a lot of great things that are definitely not coming back so i'm just gonna like shake it out and pretend to be super excited <laughs> and shocked by flipping over the card again but the next card that we got was Yasad, Root and Connection. Which I, like when I originally flipped this card over and saw it, I was flipping a shit. So I was like, ah, Root and Connection to self and the threshold and all this stuff. So I apologize that I'm not as enthused as I was five minutes ago when I read through all of this. Um, but we're gonna do it again. The Ninth Emanation. The foundation that supports the world and forms the gateway between the spiritual and the physical. And the message that was coming through is that a lot of you who picked this pile and are getting this is that you are here to explain and understand the spiritual spiritual to physical yep, connection. Like understanding that connection, cultivating it for yourself, and being able to teach that to other people. You saw it as the medium through which we experience the tree of life. Upon his shoulders rests the sky, and all that lies beyond it runs through his fingers. We stand at this doorway and peer through, seeking answers to our nature. As a single column, again, the flow of energy through the tree only moves downward. Yasad is the last stop before moving into the fully physical realm. He is the looking glass through which we examine ourselves. Found in new life, speech, and a doorway, which still, like, thresholds, doorway, new life, like all the dots connecting and then lastly again same thing i flipped over this card and i just got this like rush of energy this like super clear beautiful message every journey starts with a single step again the number 12 and the number three Oop. coming through is super important and just how beautiful this card is with like the briefcase and all the butterflies around it and this like idea of transformation and like taking that step over the threshold and uh i just read the healing process for this one because i do feel like that message is like very loud and clear but feel free i'm just gonna read this through quick so my camera doesn't turn off on me again but feel free to like pause it and repeat this after me so say aloud of my own free will i now choose to surrender any fear or doubt about my ability to succeed i believe in myself i trust myself I have faith in the unfolding journeys of my life, both internally and out in the world. Even in the face of the unknown, I know that positive energy surrounds me and I am protected. Through unconditional love, I am supported and assisted to take each step as needs be so that my great creative life journey can be all that it can be. You may like to complete your healing process with a quick dance around the lounge room, feeling joy in your heart and lightness in your step. Just a suggestion. So... I'm repeating myself, but that's okay. I hope that this finds you all well. This is a timeless message, so whenever you receive it is when you're meant to have it. Um, you can book individual readings with me through Instagram, at Raw Healing Tarot. Um, I just love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up the video if this resonated with you. Leave comments below, talk to me about it. Subscribe to the channel so you get notifications about when I post again. 
and I do appreciate and accept donations, so that's all listed below as well. All the decks I used are listed below. I just I wish nothing but the best for you guys, and just keep persevering and take all this information and transform into that next beautiful version of yourself. So thank you again for watching.